I was quite impressed with the amount of interest practicing clinicians and administrators have shown uh, in, as they call, breaking the stillness of stillbirth. I am so glad that Fernandez is taking the leadership for that. There is certainly a lacuna in the way we see mothers. Even the terminologies we use where we just say like deliveries and instead of birthing and like patients instead of mothers. Since I've been working in such remote areas, a lot of times I feel helpless. Uh, looking at certain like socioeconomic scenarios and cultural scenarios. So I think one way to uh, address that is to undergo professional training, especially with regards to stillbirth and breaking bad news. I'm really looking forward to the uh, afternoon session on uh, uh, screening protocols to avoid silver. It's, it's a great opportunity to meet and network with people. So, like-minded people, you don't find this cohort everywhere. They have really uh, chosen uh, speakers who are um, working in this field and not just uh, talking theory. They are uh, there working, soiling their hands and they are able to share their experience. They've really planned it well in the sense that after each talk, there is a session for discussion and that is very meaningful because uh, you could go to a conference, give your talk and then uh, walk away without a question answer session, not even knowing whether you did well or whether it was uh, understood and how it was received by the audience. Because of the busy labour rooms, women who are having uh, stillbirth, they are not given enough attention. So attending this uh, workshop but all is uh, really enlightening us as to uh, how to treat and how to uh, care for those women. I have been working with stillbirth for the last 7-8 years but for this conference is very important because we are talking about the target of stillbirth. So uh, it's always a pleasure to be in you know, Fernandez. This workshop was very special to me because you know, this time I was a faculty for a bereavement care. So uh, we conducted our first workshop on bereavement care this time and the response was amazing. So I'm hoping that we are actually going to make a difference by providing and you know one of the best care to all those mothers who undergo such a tragic event of stillbirth. The points that I have learned here is uh, the more the need for the empathy towards stillborn baby parents. We used to realize that out of 10 patients we were labeling uh, five to six SGA patients and a lot of introspection was being done. Ki are we, in, are we over uh, or diagnosing SGA and IUGR babies? But after the session yesterday afternoon by Dr. Jason, I have realized that the need for uh, diagnosing SGA babies is very important in reducing stillbirths. Today's workshop on bereavement of perinatal death is a fantastic a workshop content is planned so well that uh, you can carry home a lot of points uh, to practice in our hospital too. And uh, establishing a bereavement uh, group involving the nurses, doctors and other healthcare workers is very very important uh, in all hospitals, especially public healthcare system where this is uh, totally lacking. So there should be guidelines uh, arising out of this workshop for all the practitioners uh, throughout India. Your Mentimenter, excellent. I had no idea about that Mentimenter. So I learned that, how to use it, and probably in future I will be using it. The outstanding feature of this conference is the excellent academic program and the two workshops we had yesterday on bereavement care and the GAP program by Perinatal Institute of UK. The workshops were, were different, uh, very interactive. Um, the fact that we are the whole program is focused on stillbirth is the standing out point for me. Congratulations to the Fernandez Education and Research Foundation and Stillbirth Society of India uh, for bringing together all the stakeholders for this important cause, uh, stillbirths, and the um, theme for the conference is also uh, very apt.